Hi everyone, welcome back to Lola's Frugal Life Podcast. So today I wanted to kind of go back to the basics of why I kind of started this podcast and answering the question, why choose frugal living? I think obviously most of you know that I'm passionate about frugal living or I would not have made a podcast called Lola's Frugal Life. But I think that um, sometimes people think of frugal living as kind of like a temporary lifestyle, like something you just do, um, you know, to get through a certain period of time or just to kind of make certain progress or whatever. And then you go back to like normal living. But I do not feel that way. And I'm sure many of you do not feel that way, too, Um, because to me, frugal living is such a It creates so many benefits in your life. So I just wanted to kind of do like a quick episode, just kind of reminding and reinforcing all of us, reinforcing all of us to um, kind of keep that in our mind and remember why we do what we do. And if you're new to frugal living, why um, I feel it's so important and why I created a podcast to share um, my thoughts about it with the rest of you. So As most of you know, I mean, the the basic concept of frugal living is kind of generally just meaning that you're very intentional with your spending. And as I like to talk about, too, also being intentional with your time, because those are kind of like the two main things that you manage in your life, your money and your time. And that's kind of what has the biggest impact on your life. But in general, I mean, frugal living is kind of more geared towards managing your money in a way that allows you to choose to spend it where it matters and not spend your money where it doesn't matter. And frugal living does not mean that you need to live without and buy cheap, low quality products. Um, In fact, those of us that have really embraced the benefits of frugal living usually recognize the benefit of buying higher quality products that last and we get better value um, for the money that we spend on those things. Most truly frugal people have no interest in buying cheap products that have to be replaced frequently. However, there will still be those that think you're cheap when you say you're frugal. Um, Frugal living is really just about getting the most out of the money that you have available to you and your time. Um, And it has so many benefits outside of finances alone. So, For me, one of the most rewarding benefits that I have found in frugal living is generally living a more simple life. And this does not mean that I don't work hard or have goals that I'm focusing on. Um, But by kind of being mindful about how I spend my time and money, I can often cut out many things that might have otherwise taken up time and financial resources. It kind of really helps you like focus in on what's most important to you. Another really amazing benefit of frugal living is that you will feel less stressed about money. That does not mean you will never feel stress about money. If you can figure out how to make that happen, I would love to hear it. But when you live frugally, you're in control of your money and how you spend it. And there's so much less stress around money when you know what you have coming in and where it's going. It's just a totally different feeling in spending money that you have allotted for certain expenses than just spending money and hoping that you have enough later on. I know um, for me that was huge because in the past, before I really started like really being particular about managing our money and making sure we had a budget and knew what was coming and going, I would always have this anxious feeling with every purchase I made. And it wasn't that we didn't have enough money even necessarily for the purchases that I was making. It was just the fact that I really didn't know. I didn't know with all these purchases that I had made throughout the week or throughout the month, if it was going to exceed the amount of money that we had come in because I wasn't really tracking it. I didn't know what we had available to spend. And it just really caused this anxious feeling. And now with making those same exact purchases, I feel no stress because I have a budget I know what I'm able to spend. And as long as I'm, as long as I'm spending within um, the budgeted amounts, I don't stress over money at all. Of course, like I said, there's still stress around money. There's still emergencies that come up. There's still those unexpected situations, but overall there's less stress about money when you live a frugal lifestyle because you have so much more control over 
where your money is going and, and kind of having that knowledge can help make you, um, you know, know what's going on and not have to always be worrying about it. And, you know, just in general, like due to the nature of paying closer attention to where your money goes, you're most likely going to wind up meeting your financial goals quicker when you're living a frugal lifestyle than if you were just kind of letting things happen. And those goals might be things like paying off debt, building an emergency fund, saving for retirement, saving for a vacation, or any number of things. So there's so many benefits that come with living a frugal lifestyle. I do not see it at all as a temporary um, way to live. I see it as a great way to live, and it has so many benefits in improving your life overall. One thing that um, is really important to remember, too, is that frugal living does not require deprivation. Living frugally can help you greatly um, in improving your financial situation. And by being more thoughtful about where your money goes, you're going to wind up ending up with more money for saving, investing, and staying out of debt. And while some people might see frugal living as depriving yourself, I completely disagree. When you're able to do all those things, um, it's not deprivation. Like if you're saving up for things and you're getting out of debt, like those are all great things to do for yourself. And I have found that I've never been happier, like in my, um, just in general, like in my mood and just like recognizing things and seeing all these like great things in life that you don't necessarily notice when you're not being so intentional. It just kind of spreads throughout your life. And the thing is that when you're living this frugal lifestyle, it allows you to get the most out of the things that you have and then spend less on the things that you need so that, like I said, you wind up having more money for those other things. And then you wind up finding cost-effective ways to prioritize things that you enjoy most in life. So you can often do more of what you love, not less of what you love. So the last thing I want to say about this, I know this is kind of a short episode, but I just kind of really wanted to, to focus on this a little bit today. The last thing I have to say about this topic and why, um, you know, about choosing a frugal life is, um, not to allow yourself to be discouraged by others. Living frugally can sometimes feel really difficult when the people around you don't share your values. It's really important to keep yourself encouraged regardless of what some people might think about your choices and remind yourself why you want to live frugally and what you'll get out of the choices that you're making. If you're like setting specific goals for your frugal lifestyle and tracking your progress, celebrating your wins, you know, just kind of like seeing what you're doing and the impact that it's having on your life can really help you stay motivated. And you also want to try and surround yourself with people who who share your values and goals, like people that really want to do these same types of things that you do. It doesn't mean that you don't have to remain friends or a lot of times it's even family that doesn't share those views because you still want to maintain relationships with those people. But just kind of finding others, even if it's through like a Facebook group or, you know, listening to podcasts like these or watching YouTube videos or whatever, just kind of understanding that other people out there have these similar thoughts that you have about living this lifestyle can kind of help you help you connect and can kind of keep you, um, you know, not second guessing yourself if, if you're thinking about this wrong. Because not everyone is going to think that frugal living is the way to go. Um, you know, but by having some people that feel the way you do can really help you stick with your intentions. There's so many um, people that when you say, you know, you're into like frugal living or you talk about things like that, they just assume that you're struggling, um, you know, you're, you're, um, you don't want to spend money on anything and a lot of like kind of negative thoughts that are not necessarily true. So I think by having like another um, source to kind of see and, and communicate with other individuals that have those similar um ideas about frugal living as you have and really understanding all the benefits of it and that it's really a great thing and not something that, you know, is kind of like being stingy or whatever, or, you know, how some people might see it can really definitely help, you know, and just remind yourself too, that 
living frugally is a choice that you've made to make your life better and not the other way around. So just really try and keep yourself motivated and sticking to your plan and don't let others um, make you feel like being frugal is is not like the best thing because it really is. There's so many benefits to it. I can't even think of anything that would be a negative to it. Like, why would it be negative to being mindful about your money and monitoring your time and making sure you're making the best use out of everything you have, no matter what income or asset level you're at? It just makes sense to try and want to do the best that you can with what you have. So I know this is a little bit of a short episode today, but there's not all that much to say about this, just kind of small little topic about why choose frugal living. But I just wanted to um, kind of lay it out there, why I love this, why I do this, and just kind of encourage you um, just to remind yourself too, and don't let others um, discourage you from achieving all the benefits that come with this lifestyle. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening, and I will see you back here next week. So thank you for checking in for this podcast episode. And don't forget, you can always email me with any questions or suggestions at lolasfrugallife at gmail.com. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at lolasfrugallife. And you can find a blog post for most of my episodes and definitely all of my meal plan episodes at lolasfrugallife.com. You can also join our private listeners group at facebook.com slash groups slash lolasfrugallife. And if you enjoy the show, please make sure to subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you listen from. And I would love it if you would screenshot the show and tag me on Instagram so I could see your listening. Also, if you can please take a couple of seconds to rate and review the podcast, those ratings and reviews are what help the show come up better in search results so that other people can find this podcast. So that will really help me in growing my audience. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening and I hope you have an awesome day.